Okay, in this conversation, I want to talk about using data and AI to find your perfect wine. Uh, and to do this, I am joined by Heine uh, Zachariasen, who is the founder and chief executive officer of Vivino, the world's largest online wine marketplace and the most downloaded wine app. Welcome, Heine. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Yeah, great. Really good to have you have you with us. Um, you are credited with bringing a technology revolution to the wine industry. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit more about Vivino and and why you founded it? Yeah, those are really big words, I must say, for an industry that's been around for actually thousands of years. Uh, I think um, so. So my background as such is that. I love wine, but I was never really an expert in wine, right? Mm -hmm. I think after 10 years with the Vino, I know a little bit more now, I will say. Uh, but the core use case here is really, you know, you walk into a supermarket, you see this wall of wine and you don't know what to pick. And I was sort of used to, if I was going to watch a movie, you know, I would use IMDb, maybe I get a book rating from Amazon, whatever. But apparently with wine, it was all a big secret. So, I mean, that was it. Like, could we build, use some data, some tech? to really change that. And obviously with, with the smartphone coming along and um, that changed and we launched the company in, in 2010. Basically, it's an app where you can take a picture of every single bottle of wine in the world. And when you do that within a couple of seconds, we'll give you all the information about the wine and you can even buy it through the platform. Very good. So what's Vivino's business model? Yeah, so so in the early days, you know, we, we it was more of a land grab. Let's service this. Uh, these people that really need help with this. And we're now, you know, 50 million users around the world, 20,000 people install the app every single day. So an amazingly a big community. So now we've built a marketplace on top of that. What that means is that you can use Vivino and all the data and everything we know about you um, to buy a wine through Vivino and we get a marketing fee on that. Very good. So how important is technology to your business? And maybe you can give us some examples of, of some of the innovative technology that technologies that you're using today. Yeah, I think I think obviously we are a tech company. I am a, definitely more a tech guy, a software guy than I am a, a wine person. And and when we talk about, you know, these new emerging technologies, and I'm sure you know this, one thing that really comes to mind is actually timing. So being there at the right time when the technology hits is incredibly important. Doesn't mean we were like super smart. It just means that we hit the right time. And, and when we look at that, you know, when we launched this product in around 2010, it was, it was a few technologies that came together. Like the smartphone was a few years old, so it started to come out there. All the phones had a camera and they were online. And then on top of that, this image recognition was also getting mature. So, so those like four things came together around the same time and really enabled this product. You know, two years earlier, probably would have been a bad time. Two years later, somebody else would definitely have done it, right? So, so it's a combination of different technologies. And then you put the data on top of that and all the AI we do and so on. Very good. So right time, right technology. Um, so many argue that data has become the most important business asset of our times. How important is data to Vivino? Yeah, so so when people sometimes see us like, hey, you're like an app company, you build this app, it's a cool app and so on. But we see ourselves as, you know, helping people drink better wine through data. And, and that's the real game changer for us is that we know all these wines by now, right? We have 1.5 billion pictures of wine labels and 10 million wines in the database, 200 million ratings. It's, it's the key to our business. And obviously also, you know, the big entry barrier for somebody else that, you know, you can compete with us, but first you have to build all this data and then you need 50 million users to maintain it, right? So, so the data is incredibly important for us and it's really what drives our product. Very good. So how do you find your favorite wines and what are they? <laughs> Well, it's a, that's a good question. I'm very careful saying that because we have to remain independent. No, so <laughs> obviously, uh, you know, I, I scan every bottle of wine I drink and, and even before I buy it, but I also buy most of the wines uh, through Vivino. And we've, 
we've added all kinds of different technologies to help you like find a better wine. I mean, one of the the things I'm I'm very proud of is this it's this search function that we we have that sort of reminds you of of you know buying an airline ticket where you say you know I want a red wine and this is the price point you can even go in and adjust the taste a little bit and then it will find the perfect wine for you every single time that's a little bit nerdy but we also have sort of more automatic feature for that I'm sure we're going to talk about that too yeah and and this is obviously the feature I'm I'm interested in um you you have just introduced a, a feature called match for you where an algorithm will give you um give every wine a personalized match score um for for each user so how does that work Yeah so so the core of it is really that we've over many years gathered all this information about the wines so so we know the wine side really really well you know just to give you the uh, the rating and normal things we also have something called taste characteristics so we've built some ai on top of our all our reviews so we actually know exactly what the wine tastes like so if you take that on the one side and then the other side you have all these users right now you can put those two together can we can we match those two so we actually learn exactly what the users like and very much inspired by by netflix um we have this percentage which we call match for you now which basically means like how likely are you to like this wine and um, it uses every single data point we have about the wine and every single data point we have about the user right and it's actually pretty you know i'm surprised how accurate it is and sometimes it it's it's surprising you know how um how good and how accurate it is and sometimes you realize oh my my god the it turns out the app knew something about me that i didn't realize like let me give you an example so i I love champagne. I it's you should be drinking champagne every day, no maybe not, but <laughs> but often. And and usually there is the, there is there is pinot noir in a champagne, but sometimes they're also chardonnay based. And I hadn't really thought about this, but but the algorithm actually found a correlation in in what champagnes I liked and what I didn't like. Turned out the ones that had a lot of chardonnay, I wasn't too fond of. And I never knew that until I saw these low ratings on certain champagnes that why is that i love champagne and then i realized there was a correlation there very good so what's your favorite yes you keep digging into that huh so no i, I so i I've, i've lived in california for many years and i must i really enjoyed a lot of the local caps cabernet sauvignons i've enjoyed a lot of the pinots from california and and oregon and so on now i'm spending more time in europe let's see what i'll start drinking i i i mentioned champagne i love champagne too Uh, apparently certain types of champagne but uh, I love champagne too. Very good. So what other technologies do you, do you see on the horizon that could have an impact on your business and maybe the wine industry more broadly? Yeah, I think I think it's it's hard to say what's going to come but what we've also built when you, when you have all these data what you can build on top of that data is almost like unknown could you build some predictability can you help the industry make better wines and so on i think i think once you have the data you can build a lot of different technologies on top of that and like i said we're using machine learning and ai and so on so yeah i think i think there's a lot coming i'm not sure exactly what it is but i think the data is going to enable us to do very very interesting things very good and do, do you outsource your ai or is this all done within within your own organization it's it's a combination so we use some of the tools that are pretty mature now uh, from these sort of big platforms and then we have people internally to uh, to actually do it a lot of the stuff that we do it, it's wine is a little bit weird it's like super long tail and so on so so it's a little bit different than um than other categories so so it's a combination of external and internal very good super fascinating thank you so much Heiner that what that was uh, amazing and I'm I'm looking forward I'm actually using the app I love wine so I am looking forward to to getting the benefits from the the new recommendation tool so wonderful thank you very much thank you very much a pleasure